My name is Anika Molesworth. I live in far western New South Wales on beautiful Willia Kali country and I am a farmer, a scientist and an author. I have been involved in a rice leaders program with ARLF a few years ago. I've also most recently been involved in the drought resilience leaders development program both as a regional lead for New South Wales and a presenter for the climate science communications and leadership part of the program. I think that value would be ambition. Everyone I have met within ARLF and the supporters of the foundation have ambition. They want to create something better, the best that it possibly can be for rural and regional Australia, both the environment, the local economies and the people. And it's that ambition which I so greatly admire in the foundation and all the work that it does. I'm very proud to be part of the Drought Resilience Leaders Development Program, especially working with my home region, the far west of New South Wales. Uh, working with the local community members here um, was incredibly rewarding for me. And it actually just, you know, made me sit back and go, wow, what an incredible group of people live in this quite remote part of the country. They are people who are determined, who are hardworking, who are creative and innovative, who are courageous. And I draw strength from people like that. And yeah, and I'm so proud to be amongst people in this region who exhibit that behavior. I'm most proud of working with uh, farmers, uh, people involved in the agricultural sector, because as most people know, uh, you know, most days there's another challenge thrown to a farmer. And I just draw so much strength and inspiration from people who are determined and hardworking, who don't, you know, sit back on the couch and wait for someone else to do something, but who actually get up, walk out that front door and strive to fix a problem. Rolling dice. Number two. My most challenging leadership experience to date is actually in regards to uh, self-care and self-well-being because as someone who sees a lot of challenges out there in the world and has, you know, a lot of drive to try and make a positive change, uh, sometimes, you know, one can get to a point where you're, you're working too hard, that you're giving too much and you're not actually recharging your own batteries. And I've learned that over time, getting to points where I've pretty much just collapsed out of exhaustion. So that's a time when I have been very challenged by my own contribution to society and the world and recognizing well a challenge of leadership is also about personal well-being and resilience we have to look after self so that we can look after communities and the environment that we want to take care of i wish arlf all the success into the future i hope your programs continue to be delivered to people right across this beautiful country mm -hmm.